still no takers on the find a blind date with Janet Reno contest. <laughs> Maybe I can fix her up with my son. You ought to see what he brought home. <laughs> and now let's keep the, uh, the show rolling and give a big paw for Miss Ann Sherman, huh? <laughs> You wrote the letter to the editor? Yes, sir. Are you sure that your mommy is not Ann Sherman? No. My mother's name is Patricia Sherman, and she's over there with my dad, Daryl Sherman, and our dog, Bootsy Sherman. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hi, Bootsy. I love you. She loves them. <laughs> so, you like animals. I love them. Do you have any animals? Well, we had little baby seals. You want to see my nifty belt? I think when you make fun of animals on your show, you encourage all the bad people out there who just want to hurt them. And God will be very mad at you for that. Don't you believe in God, Mr. Richardson? Do you think it's time for a commercial? No. No. That smells so much worse than what you made last night. What is that? It's vegetarian lasagna made just the way you like it, Dad. With meat? Hey, Mr. Richardson. Saw you on TV today. An 11-year-old really kicked the crap out of you. It was a great show. Okay, soup's on. <clears throat> Gina. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, I have to, uh, this has to be eaten at just the right temperature to get the essence of the basil oregano sauce. What the hell happened to you in Europe, oregano, basil, Gina? Well, I like the basil and oregano. And this is actually very good. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear you say that, Dad, because now, I know it doesn't sound masculine, but I found my dream, and it's in the kitchen. What are you talking about? I'm going to be a chef. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I want to be a jazz singer. Dad, I'm sorry, but I'm serious. I, I am going to enroll in culinary school. Hey, look, Greg. Okay, now, look. I am so happy you had a great trip in Europe. You fooled around. You learned how to cook. You met some girl. Whoa, 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 Dad. Gina is not some girl. No, no, no. I understand that. I, I know that she's not some girl. She can take care of herself. I'm sure the roller derby will take her back. <laughs> Listen, you pompous, permanently having a bad hair day, fascist! Now everybody just sit down and calm down. There isn't going to be any more yelling. Now if you want to talk, you raise your hand. Fran, come on, this is not the second No time. hand, I am not recognizing that. <laughs> Very good, Greg. You have the floor. Thank you, Mom. Okay, I have an announcement to make, everybody. <laughs> Gina and I are getting married. What? <laughs> We're getting married. No, you're not. Yes, yes we, we are. are. Wait a minute, this is not a democracy. I didn't spend all this time and all this money molding my son's future for him to throw it away on Gypsy Rose Lee. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You are going back to law school, and you are returning to the mothership. <laughs> You know what, Dad? Uh, we don't have to listen to this. We're getting married. You don't listen to this, Greg. And you're on your own. I guess I'm on my own, then. can't believe you just did that. Oh, come on, Fran. You don't know what's going on. Yes, I do. Greg wrote me all about Gina. And why didn't you tell me? Because he asked me not to. And because I don't tell you everything. Oh, yes, you do. You tell me everything. This is my house. I know everything that's going on here. Where are you going? <laughs> to turn on the TV. I meant to turn towards the TV. <laughs> okay, just keep me informed. Look, 
I know that Gina is not exactly what we envisioned for Greg. Oh. But let me remind you that 23 years ago, I brought you to meet my parents who hated you the moment you walked through the door. They thought you were crude and, and, and uneducated and that, and that I had stooped to someone who was beneath me. Okay, friend, I remember the wedding invitation. <laughs> so what's the point? The point is this is the same situation. They're adults and they can do what they like. And I just want to be sure that I am not going to miss my son's wedding. Well, Fran Meister, you don't have to worry about that because there's not going to be a wedding. You know, it's nice the way the oregano doesn't overpower the basil. <laughs> oh, David, please shut up. I need silence, which includes chewing. You see, this is the kind of father-son moment I'll be relating to my therapist years from now. <laughs> You sissy. <laughs> I, uh, I think she's talking to you. You come for the other son? No, I got a few things to say to you. David, out. Um, where should I go? Because I know how you like to keep track of me. <laughs> Look, I've only got a minute, okay? Greg thinks I'm in the car, and he'd be really mad if he knew I was talking to you. And I'm thrilled about it. Listen, you know what? I know you're not crazy about me, but I don't need you to like me. The important thing here is that there's a guy upstairs right now packing underwear into a suitcase who desperately needs your approval. Only underwear? I hope he's going somewhere very informal. <laughs> he's leaving now, Mr. Richardson. I know my son. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know what? That's what my dad thought. And I have not seen him in years. Your son is upstairs right now. Don't screw it up. Are you finished? Because I can't hear you. See, I tune you out. I, I tuned you out right after, uh... I, Gina. <laughs> Don't screw it up. Greg, would you put down the bags? You're not going anywhere. No, Dad. You know, there's something I wanted to tell you at dinner, but I, uh, I don't know, I didn't get my hand up fast enough. I know you don't like Gina as much as you try to hide it. And I know you're angry. I know you're angry that I, I'm not going to law school. And, Dad, I understand that, but you've got to understand me. Okay, cooking is not some lark. It's the first job I can picture myself doing for the rest of my life. It, it doesn't even feel like a job, except for casseroles, which... And I'm crazy about Gina, and I, I want to be with her, and we're going to get married, Dad. That's it. Okay. What do you mean, okay? I... I have more. <laughs> I was going to discuss your, your inability to compromise and your stubbornness and your, your hair. So that's it. I mean, you, uh, you understand. I understand that you are very serious about this. I understand that that girl is a casserole. <laughs> well, I, uh, guess I'll go, uh, unpack my apron. Get over here. Are you happy? You know what would make me really happy? If you went out and gave Gina a big hug. <laughs> Dad! He doesn't have to be that happy right now. This is Henry Winkler with a few choice words about education. Get one, please. And if you're a parent, do whatever you can to show your child how much you care about his or her future by getting involved. Ask them what they're learning in school. Praise them if they do well and encourage them if they stumble. 
let them know that the key to the future is by putting education first. For information, write Education First, 3801 Barham Boulevard, Suite 3, Los Angeles, California, 90068. The last time you were here, we were talking about animal experimentation. Well, this time, I am prepared with document documentation. Now, this particular study shows that animal experimentation is very important because it helped find a cure for diseases that have killed and crippled thousands and thousands of children and adults. <coughs> oh, Anne. Oh. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. You're a big girl, Anne. Can we please go to a commercial, okay? All right. Oh. Are we up here? Uh, yes, we, we've got a two-minute commercial, yes. Oh, are they gonna hate you? What do you think of Monty? He made me who I am, and I blame him for that. 